All right, I'm with Scott Fowler here and your 03 Peterbilt 379. Yes, sir. How you doing today? Doing good. Awesome, awesome. So pretty excited to share this truck on the channel with everybody. Uh, you know, it's a super clean, really nice truck, and you were telling me this thing's got quite a good bit of miles on it. It does. It has about a million miles on the clock. And if you stood back right here, you could never tell it. <laughs> It is, uh, this truck is absolutely immaculate. Um, I love red and chrome. It always looks awesome. Yeah, that's my favorite too. So uh, kind of walk me through, tell me a little bit about this build, how you how, how you came up with all the stuff y'all done here. It's got a ton of nice stainless and chrome and lights. And it's a whole yeah. deal here. So basically I bought the truck about four or five years ago. Uh, with the intentions that I was just going to put a paint job on it and probably run it part-time. Uh, I used to own trucks a long, long time ago, and so I always said that, you know, if I could ever get another one, I'd like to have one that I could take to a show and hang out with the trucking community because there's so much fun stuff to do at these truck shows and, yep. you know, such good people. So we uh, got the truck, and uh, before we could even get it to the paint booth, we had some engine problems. So, um, and they were unforeseen engine problems. So I said, well, we'll redo the engine. Well, then I said, well, if I'm gonna paint it and I'm re gonna redo the engine, I might as well just, and I wanna go to shows, yep. you know, you add all those mixes together, you might as well just, you know, go a little bit further than you was going through the time before. So How it always goes. Uh, we had a lot of time to get other stuff done while it was at the engine shop. So we went ahead and did engine, uh, transmission, rear ends, uh, you know, the last thing I wanted to do was get a truck completely together and then have mechanical problems. And, uh, you know, so we went ahead and did everything, uh, redid the interior. I wanted to keep it old school. I love these trucks that they, you know, they really mack out the interiors and stuff. But I, this truck was in such good shape when I got it because the guy that bought it brand new, uh, he was a non-smoker. He took really good care of the truck. He was the business owner. So it was too good to redo the interior totally. So we just did some cosmetics. We did, uh, you know, the flooring, uh, of course, added the chrome accents to the dash, but put the seats in it. Uh, but as far as the dash and the interior, this is all factory. Uh, nothing's been changed. So that's, that's kind of what we did what we did there with that. And it looks brand new. It does. I mean, it, the whole truck inside and out. It's it does. It was very easy to clean it up and get it to look in this shape. Yeah, I mean, even the doors. Uh, um, you know, you look at a lot of these older trucks and these panels are pretty I know. deep looking and yeah. everything else. Yeah. And you know what's so cool about this? Now, this is just my personal preference, but you see how clean the truck is and everything. But when you open the door, you can see a little bit of stain right here. And that tells the girl's history. Yep. You know, so so some of her history still there. We didn't cover everything up with paint and and uh, you know lipstick and paint, as I say. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you can still see some of her some of her miles of when she was really working every day. That's pretty cool. And these trucks have such cool stories. Oh, yeah. I mean, the guy that's been driving this thing and put a million miles on it. Right. Like, it's yeah. been a lot of cool places. It has. It's been a lot of cool places. So, so uh, stepping back. Um, Look at the truck. It looks like you did. Uh, we got different fenders on here. Obviously, a bumper. We do. The They're headlights. Talladega fiberglass fenders, front and back. Um, SH tube is responsible for all the stainless, uh, the gear stick, uh, some of the custom touches that that they did. These were some of the first. Uh, of course, this is a belt trailer and it has hydraulics, but we've got it unhooked. But they custom made me these hydraulic covers. Those are uh, slick. I like that. Yeah, they, uh, that so was something that... this pulls off and you can it just, Yeah, it. it just pulls off and you could, you know, you could attach your hoses right here, come through here, and you could go right to work. So, That's awesome. Uh, it's, it's the... Uh, Rob did a good job. Uh, a guy named Brent Mitchell um, built the, the uh, light bars under there. Um, and I like, I, like the, I like that you did the, the front face is stainless. Yep. And then the, the back and the sides is painted red. It's got full underglow. And you stainless wrap the fuel tanks 
You got the cool yep. tip. Brent inside. Mitchell wrapped the fuel tanks. Uh, SH tube did most everything on the truck. Brent Mitchell did it first, um, and then we had to get some other stuff done. So SH tube took care of the second stuff that we done. Right. And so uh, the the trailer is a Wilson trailer, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. So I've got some. Uh, some guys back home in Atlanta, Georgia, named Bison Polishing. They are the best polishers. Uh, they're they're great. They come to my house. They came and polished out the rails for me. Uh, I ordered the trailer with stainless. Um, I had SH tube wrap all this. Uh, the light bars in the back. Uh, my friend Justin D Board. He takes care of all of my mechanic in work he keeps the truck on the road if i need anything he's there he did the fenders on the trailer he did the boxes on the trailer um, and, and it's difficult mounting fenders and doing a nice job on trailers it's not as easy when you get to the, the truck has got a lot more places to mount things and work he put a lot of man hours into making those fenders work for that lift axle uh he's he's a perfectionist so he he did a really good job of making those work where it will it'll pick up and sit down and it don't look uh you know it, it it don't look really different from the back that don't move so. it's not it's not out of place at all not at all and you've got clearance where it'll work and that that's the that's the yeah. tricky part when you're doing that it it definitely is tricky and i like you got panels on both axles yeah we got both uh axles has panels um, so i'm a little bit i like uh the walking floor trailers I understand it's got a belt. Yeah, it's gonna pull whatever you got in here out. Correct. But what do you generally? What what are the, what do you generally? What commodities do you haul? So, in this? mostly with these trailers, it's chicken litter. Um, you know, you can haul lime. Uh, you can haul rock, peanut hulls, okay. shavings. You know, stuff like stuff that. Like that. So, so it's yeah. like a, maybe a lighter material, and it'll come right out. Even heavy material will come out. Yeah, okay. it'll it'll pull it right out. It has. Uh, you know the way the the belt is geared it's it's slow geared enough that it'll just pull the load right out and it unloaded unloads it relatively quickly that's cool so, and all the stainless in the back of this looks awesome yeah sh tube did a lot of work and the the polishing guys you know they polished all of the, the factory parts out um i ordered it with the extra lights it's never had a, a load pulled in this trailer uh, it's never been loaded, just taken it's to shows. Immaculate. You can't go wrong with Red and Chrome. We've done <laughs> several trucks in the shop, and, it, and it's like Red and Chrome, but you get done, you step back, and you look at it, well, and it just looks awesome. You know, just from this angle right here with the way the sun's beaming down on it, that tells you Red and Chrome is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody's always say oh, Black and Chrome. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'd argue that maybe Red and Chrome's better. Well, I'm always going to argue red's better, but I do like black and chrome. I like all the different colors. So, uh, and you've got a uh, you got a pretty nice setup. Polished fifth wheel under here. It gets a lot of looks. It's yeah, it's got a uh, uh, Holland stainless fifth wheel. That's pretty good. And so uh, you did the breather chops too, I see. Breather's been chopped and wrapped. Oh, so the breather's stainless wrapped? Yep, breather's That's stainless nice. wrapped. Another thing I like a lot is up here on the, I like the, the hoods on the, on the lights. Right. Yeah, I like the little visors on the lights. We took the horns off and filled the holes and added the lights and sh2 make the uh rock guards they and did. all that stuff yes. they do the grill as well yeah that, they did uh yeah they did pretty much everything on the truck except for the the breather wrap and the stainless brent mitchell did uh, on the wraps so of the the uh, breather and the uh, fuel tanks sh2 does such a good job and they're a great bunch of guys uh, to work with we've gotten a lot of stuff from them they've made us a lot of custom parts yeah rob's always taking care of me really well i, tell I you almost what. i almost wore his shirt today and uh you know i, I kind of wish i had him now but i didn't know i was going to be in this position <laughs> when i left the room this morning so 
If Rob's watching this, I'm sorry, buddy. Hey, listen, Rob, we're still <laughs> giving you, we're, he's giving you all the credits. You got, you got it, you got it covered. It is a beautiful truck. I mean, Thank if you. you step back and look at this whole combo together, um, it's parked in a good spot. If you're coming down the road from up here, it's the first truck you're going to get a look at. And, uh, man, she's sharp. All right, getting over here to the business end of the truck. Got the hood up. This thing, if you look in here, is spotless. I like the chrome valve covers. Yeah, chrome valve covers set it off. I fought doing anything for the engine with the engine for a while, but then one of those trips up to SH Tube, they started throwing stuff on it and, and uh, couldn't stop, you know. Yeah. Let's go check out the turbo side. Yeah. The Mexican If Bonanza was like. Yeah, all that intake piping looks awesome. The factory spring ride. Yes. Yeah, it's a. Uh, a gentleman named Busey in Gainesville, Georgia built the engine and he's he is the caterpillar go-to and so it's it's built pretty hot is it uh, it's yeah it's pretty hot <laughs> pretty fun to drive it's very fun to drive it'll uh i was coming up the mountain i've never been here before and i was coming up the the long mountain over there and i passed one truck and I, he hollered at me on the radio and he said now that's the way you come up a hill so <laughs> it it'll uh it'll get on down the road pretty good that's awesome all right scott thanks for uh walk us around and, and no share the truck this thing is gorgeous i love a red chrome truck and uh to have something with a million miles on it as immaculate as this truck is that's uh that's a that's, that's a lot well we've got something in common so i like red and chrome myself so thank you so much for the chance to do the interview and and i hope you have a good rest of the show we're we're having a blast guys in the comments tell us what do you think about this I'm not going to ask, would you drive it? Because I know everybody watching this would absolutely love to drive this. But uh, we had a great time. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. And uh, do you have any social media stuff? Do you want people to find uh, the business or any of that stuff? No, we don't have any business social media. So this is just a hobby. Uh, just a hobby for me, just for fun. So That's awesome. I do want to give a shout out to my biggest fan, Ryan Loudermilk. This one's for you, buddy. Ryan is an awesome dude. I love him to death. All the shows, like Ryan, Ryan is a Ryan This is one a was for you. Yeah. Well, there you go, Ryan. See you guys.